For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. Try that again. The wand never fails. I'm getting the idea, and now for my next trick. Ah! Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self-taught, you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. Get through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Wow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. Now, for all you traditionalists... <coughs> knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. <coughs> ah! Never mind, I like a woman with spirit. homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. <coughs> so that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur-de-Lis.
P.S. Before you can use the spell book, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great! I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight! Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. Oh look! There's a pair of scissors in here. this old thing. Good morning. He's too engrossed in his work to hear me. in any um, crisis antique porcelain figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grail. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? Sorry, I'm really not interested. Who needs your custom anyway? Mache Moosehead. Barkeep. Good morrow, lad. Makes me a wet wizard, Barkeep. Hang on a moment. I'm sure I've got some sparrow juice down here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, Helen Buckshot. Where did this game come from? 
from anyway. That short man with the strange eyes gave it to us, remember? No, we didn't have to pay for it. A nice man, though, as I recall. Very clever with his, uh, walk, wasn't he? That thing looked real... It. Please, I've got this thorn stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. Let's have a look at it then. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Bro! There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here. Take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. Possible to strike up an intelligent conversation with an inanimate object. Hello? Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Have you got a permit for this, sir? Permit? Do you not know who I am? No, I don't. I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. The famous who? Philistine. I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. My name's Simon, not Philip Stein. I do not care for your name, my boy. I am looking for fossils. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? As a matter of fact, I haven't. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Oh, look. There's a word written on it. It has the word beer chalked on it. Wow! Very sophisticated. It 
she know? All right, mate. All right. What's the password then? Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. Okay, I'm not a dwarf. What? I said, uh, I come from the north. Eh? Just naff off, will you? Naff off yourself. Ow! jelly goes here with all the other jelly. Excuse me. <laughs> how can I help you? No, no, no. How can I help you? <laughs> Don't listen to him. How can I help you? A 10% discount if you let me help you. A 20% discount from me. 30%. Uh, 40. 50. Can I get any service or not? What would you like, sir? Is this some sort of freak show? I don't know what you mean. He's talking about us, idiot. It was a freak accident, okay. Okay. Now, what would you like, sir? I've got a shopping list from the goblins. You're not the regular person. He's sick. No. Oh, okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie.
Excuse me? Yeah? Tell me of what ails you, woodcutting person. It's not worth it. I may as well accept the future fate has planned for me. My life is in ruins. You just gotta take the rough with the smooth. In my case, I just have to take the rough with the rougher. What did I do to deserve this? Who were you talking to? Hernia the Hunter, God of the Forest, and Twisted Guts. It's trees that are the problem, though. Trees? Trees. The big, hard, brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. How can a tree be a problem? It's not all trees, just the ones around here. Is it true that you can tell the age of a tree by counting its rings? Of course. What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. I'll keep an eye out for some for you. Then you'll be looking for a long time. It's incredibly rare, and I don't know anyone that's ever seen any. I haven't seen any either. That doesn't surprise me. When I asked the dwarves, I just laughed and gave me this metal detector. Did it do any good? If it had done, then I wouldn't be here now, would I? Why don't you take the bloody thing? You couldn't do any worse than me. Okay. I'll have to sell everything. Yo, woodcutting person. Oh, hello. Any luck? None whatsoever. My hopes weren't high. Leave me alone. I'm going through an all-time low. How will I live? Hear something? Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We're not fussy. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You could at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I was talking to the player, not you. Oh, right. So, you got any spare wood or not? I'd give you wood if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Oh, you couldn't do a woodworm a favour, could you? Woodworm? Of course. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? No, 
of course not. That's all right then. How come you woodworm are talking anyway? That's just so typical. You just presume we don't talk just because we're woodworm. Let me tell you something, mate. Your attitude is bloody typical of humanity in general. It makes me sick. You never talk to us. You just presume that woodworm can't talk. It's just racism to the third degree. Look, I didn't mean to offend anyone. That's what they all say. One misplaced foot and ten of my best friends never breathe again. I'm sorry, OK? How can I make it up to you? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Teak, for example. Oh, go for wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? How about a bit of ebony? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? Oh, I love a bit of balsa. Ebony, balsa, ebony, driftwood. Shut up! Shut up yourself, fatso. Fatso? Look who's talking, blubber bum! Young hooligan, have some respect. Shut up, Griffin. I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with Teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak, balsa, oak, mahogany. Good idea! I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah! I still prefer teak. Shut up! Mahogany it is, then. I'll just go and get some, then. You won't regret this, you know. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I'd better knock. Nobody home. to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well, be off with you. Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you, and then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's dead easy. 
Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to popular children's tale, I'm gonna eat you and pop your friend there in the field. Now come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff, and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action in the state. I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. What appears to be the problem here? I demand satisfaction, and until I get it, no one may cross the bridge. What do you want? I told you, satisfaction, whatever that is. Why are you unhappy? Every day, these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation. Until I get a goat to eat, no one may cross the bridge. Why don't you just eat these two now? These two are protected. Their big brother is a really tough customer, you know. Believe me, I should know. If I lay a claw on them, then... You're scared of a billy goat. This is no ordinary billy goat. He's 12 feet long and horns like you've never seen. All I want is some goat to eat. Fine. I'll go get some goat for you, okay? Okay. Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? It's a magic whistle. Magic, eh? Give it here. I did a lot. Now where were we? Oh yeah, I was just going to suggest eating you and... Is this guy bothering you? Yeah, sick him. Righty-ho. Oh, you've been picking on my friend. No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow! What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. Everything okay now? Yeah, thanks a lot. See ya. What appears to be the problem? Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? What beans? Magic beans. I've swapped them for a cow with a peddler. He said they were magic beans and would lead to fortune and glory. 
And I planted them there, but they haven't grown an inch yet. I think you've been conned, mate. No. The peddler told me he was an old friend of mine. He even bought me a drink. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. I'm one step ahead of you, mate. Well, don't just stand there, then. Pour it on the seeds. You drown them. I'll have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit. of highly magical and smelly compost. Wow, this must be good compost. Then, no. Why not? I don't believe in giving perfectly good instruments away. I could make it worth your while. Nothing holds more value to me than music. How long haven't you been playing it for? I got it cheap this morning at a car boot sale. Your conversation bores me. I bid you farewell. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. to own a musical instrument repair parlor. I can have it done up for you in no time. Really? Sure. Just hand it over and I'll return it within an hour.
I'd better knock. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Huh? Oh, it is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. Well, actually, I think I've got the wrong house. Wow! I thought you were my first birthday friend. I thought you'd come to play with me for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. It's your birthday. It is. Nobody had arrived here yet. I is spending ages making swamp stew. And I is saving my money for hats and cakes. I invited all my bestest friends. I can't wait for them to get here. I had no idea it was your birthday. My actual birthday was two weeks ago. I don't mind you being late, though. Everyone else is. I think your costume's really good. Uh, don't worry, though. I've come for your birthday. Sit! Sit! I bring special birthday stew. I didn't agree to... Friend, I give my friend special swamp stew. Ancient and secret recipe handed down from swampling to swampling for generations. Okay, I'll give it a whirl. I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. I think I hear someone. Giddy! I think some more friends have arrived. <coughs> no one there. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friends. Okay, just one more bowlful. You. Oh, no. It's a specimen collecting jar for invertebrates. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friend. Okay, just one more bowlful. Eat up! It's good for you! Oh no! Not again! have to eat any more of that stuff.
Excuse me? Yes? Don't hurt us. Don't let them hurt us, precious nice hobbits. Hobbitses? What the hell are they? Oh, come on. You must have read the books. What books? Philistine. Beg your pardon? This is the annual general meeting of the Tolkien Appreciation Society. What's with a fishing rod? It's like this. Every year one of us gets chosen to get lunch. I haven't had so much as a nibble yet. Luckily, I happen to have some top quality, highly nutritious swamp stew with me. Really? That's excellent. Will this go around 40 people? It's concentrated. Just add boiling water and stir. Thanks a lot. You can have the fishing rod in return. Ta. I'll go and join the others looking for the ring. What ring? The ring. I could have sworn I had it on me when I started fishing. Lights out. Stunning to me. You have only seen half of it. My 
God! Everyone makes the same mistake. And when they see my face, they run screaming from the tower. The only way the spell can be broken is with a kiss from one from another dimension. This is where I come in, I feel. Fear not! Your saviour is here! It's dark in here. Lucky I'm only small. I wonder when we'll get there. I'd better put the ring on now. Well, either I can still see myself, or the ring needs recharging. Hang on a moment. Oh, I had it on backwards. It's locked. There are loads of empty cardboard boxes. My spell book's in this one. I finally got my spell book back. There's a loose piece of paper in it. That doesn't work. It's locked. I've already poked the key out of the lock. Are you the druid from the village? Who are thou that hast voice but no presence? Uh, sorry, I left yours at home. Do not joke with me, Hellspawn. Yes, I'm the village druid, and you are in league with the hordes of darkness. If you're a druid, where's your sickle, eh? I left it at home, demon prince. Now... Be gone! Look, 
Let's be reasonable for a moment. I shall listen to no more lies from you. Leave now, or suffer the consequences. And what consequences would those be? Your emotional torture cannot hurt me, foul fiend. I'm sorry I spoke, okay? Goodbye. I'm back, Mr. Druid. How are you? I shall not consort with evil, lest I fall under your spell. Leave me to my suffering in peace. Deceiveth me, or tis a young boy in this den of filth. See? I told you I wasn't evil. Fie! Tis you, demon prince. Thou shalt not fool me with thy disguise. What disguise? Your true form is that of a huge, winged, fire-breathing monster. Your soul is as black as midnight. How can I prove I'm not a demon? There is a simple test. What is this simple test? It is a well-known fact that the only true way to destroy a demon is to plunge a silver dagger through its heart. If the creature dies, then it's a demon. If it lives, then its heart is pure, and so we sacrifice it. I expect you find a lot of demons by this method. Never been wrong yet. Isn't there a slightly less painful trial? Aha! Afraid creature of the night? To be perfectly honest, I am just a tad. Okay, let's use the less reliable but more convenient trial. See this silver cross around my neck? Place it against your forehead. Okay, let's do it. Very well. Goodbye, cruel world. Yow! So, you are a servant of evil. Did you enjoy the feel of the burning hot fire of good? What? That thing was freezing cold. Gave me quite a shock. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better take it all back then. Jeez. So, what's the escape plan then? Well... I don't know. Got any bright ideas? Well, uh, let me see. Are you any good with a sword? No. Can you cast powerful spells? Yeah, no. Looks like we're stuck then. Unless, of course, you can use some special druidic power to free us. It's not as easy as that. Flower... druidic magic comes from nature. All I can do without some nature handy is polymorph. Poly what? All druids are capable of turning into another animal. It happens when they see a full moon. I can't see any way of getting a full moon in here. It doesn't have to be a full moon. It just has to look like one. What are you then? A frog. A frog? Something wrong with that, is there? No, no, no. But... a frog. I can't help it. It was chosen for me by the head of the order. Well... I'm sure that'll be of some use. Can I please put this bucket on your head? Why? Do you have some sort of plan? Yes. I've got a plan.
Ribbit. I'd better hide until he gets back with help. I'll put the ring back on. I must have run the batteries out. You'd better get others. Oh dear. Ow! Extreme acupuncture. I think my hay fever's cured them. I'm coming now, so watch it. Aha! I can't see no one. No? No one in here? In behind you. What? <laughs> not funny. You on cleaning duty for a week? Please not, Captain. Have mercy. I know light look of things. We go get more gobos. I third that, Captain. Maybe big baddie. I not go in there. You go. I not. I, Captain. You go. I not go. Go or get hit. I not go. I go. Good. Ooh. Him fainted. Get you, Scout. That was hot in there. I need a drink. It's too big for me. A statue of a really ugly barbarian. I feel lucky. I'm going to do this very carefully. Strong metal. I've already found the millrith. I don't think I can shout loud enough to wake him. Warrior Woman. My God! It's a real dragon! Well, what did you expect in a dragon's cave? 
this isn't happening. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. I've got a fearful cold and consequently am not fully in control of my breath. Huh? Hachoo! I was wearing my asbestos underwear. It says, Warning, spontaneously combustible substance. My, that's an interesting rock. There's a pin missing. It's locked. It's too big for me.
I'm not going too close. I can't imagine what use I'll have for it. I'll wear it when I need it. I took some beeswax from the hive. Gossip lately. Well, it's reputed that King Tristan II has married a tree. Apparently, the tree has produced many fine saplings by him. Do you know where Calypso has got to? Nah, but then that old geezer is always going off without telling anybody. Collecting magical ingredients, he says. Who knows what sort of harm could befall him, especially with that sordid character running about. How's the bartending trade then? So so, it's been much better since Sordid moved into the area. He's boosted my trade tenfold. Why? Has he cast some sort of spell over the people? No, it's a long story. Apparently he wants to take over the entire world using black magic. Anyway, as a result, all the heroes are donning rusty armor again and coming back into service. All of them seeing themselves as the saviors of the world. The thing is though, they all stop here for a drink on the way. I've seen all sorts go through here. Warriors, wizards, priests, assassins, and not one has been seen again. So what? I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. So he may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? The old fella keeps himself to himself. He don't bother us, we don't bother him, and that's that. talk a lot, don't you? I'm a bartender. The punters expect local gossip and general small talk from me. Nice talking to you. So long. See ya. Hello again. Yeah? I'd like a wet wizard, please. Hang on a moment. 
I'm sure I've got some sparrow juice down here somewhere. Where is it? What's that stupid man done with it? I'm sorry, sir, I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay, I'm underage anyway. Anything else, sir? I'd like a warlock surprise, please. Hang on a moment. I'm sure I've got some essence of fruit back down here somewhere. I've blocked the nozzle on the barrel with the wax. I'm sorry, sir, I can't seem to find any essence of fruit back at the moment. That's okay, I'm underage anyway. Wait here, kid, I've got something for you. one of these leaflets home to your dad. Happy hour at the Drunken Druid. Ale for one gold piece a mug. There's also a free beer voucher attached. Hello. What do you want, boy? So, do you come here often? What are you on, kiddo? Get out of here. Got a big hat. doesn't work. That doesn't work. Care for some beer by any chance? I'm on duty, but I suppose one mag can't hurt. Bring it down, will you? Okie dokie. This way. Over here. Now, how about a drinking competition? <laughs> God, God, time for a sharp exit. Where is that lazy slug? He must have gone for a beer break. Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to us we go. Hello? Sure, sure. Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to us we go. Cool. Oi! Get out of here! This is restricted area. Okay, so long for now. And stay out!
Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to where we go. La 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 la. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Shut up. I thought I told you to go away. Yep, but I've come back. Ugh. Get out of here before I throw you out! And stay out! Shut up! I thought I told you to go away! No, you must be mistaken. Ugh. Get out of here before I throw you out! And stay out! Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to where we go. La 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 hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Shut, shut up! I thought I told you to go away. Temporary miscalculation on your part. Why? Because I've come to make you a once-in-a-lifetime offer. What sort of an offer? I've got something in my inventory that you want. What's that, then? Well... What's this? Happy hour at the Drunken Druid and a free voucher? How can I ever repay you? Nice pile of gems you got there. Just one, though. Here you are. Now clear off. And stay out. I hope shut, shut up. I'm not wandering around wearing this beard. It's too itchy. Ah, that's better. I don't believe it! This is an extremely lucky find indeed. It's an amoeba from the Cambrian period. This could be it! Will I be as famous as you for this? Of course, of course! Just tell me where you found this specimen, my boy. It's in the craggy peaks. I left my metal detector there. Excellent! I shall journey there immediately. Let me just get my things together. Hey, mate, you interested in a priceless gem? Give it. I'll have a look at it. Hmm, this is nice. Very nice. Dwarf than I'll wager. Mm, it's one of those gems that changes colour. I'll give you four pieces for it. Don't make me laugh. I want at least 40. 40 gold pieces? Huh. I won't go any higher than 10. Mm, it's an improvement, but still daylight robbery. OK, 15 pieces, but only because I like the look of you. 
let's call it a nice even 20 and be done with it. OK, OK. 18 gold pieces it is. Pardon? Uh, 20 then. But you drive a hard bargain, no mistake. I better go and put it somewhere safe. Bye. I wonder how he did that. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I say, it... excuse me. How do, boys? What's new? Not a lot. He's a little uglier, perhaps. And, and he's a little stupider. See you around. Bye. I would like to buy this. That's a special order. I would like to buy this. I can't sell it. It's a family heirloom. Twenty gold pieces. That doesn't work. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. It's a tungsten carbide lightweight claw hammer. I say it goes here. And I say it... Excuse me. See you around. Bye. I would like to buy this. That'll be two gold pieces. OK, here you are. It comes with a free nail. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. It was never designed to be opened. It's a trapdoor set in the floor.
That doesn't work. This is silly. Everyone knows gold isn't magnetic. I've broken my shirt. Dr. Von Jones searching for fossils. Curses! There's no fossils down here. What would I want with dirt? Not even the right soil structure. Wait till I get my hands on that kid. It is impossible to strike up an intelligent conversation with an inanimate object. I don't think I want him to know I'm here. I don't think he'll be pleased to see me. Calling International Rescue? How am I going to get out of this hole? I hate that kid! Oh dear. I forgot my rope to get out. Dr. Von Jones searching for fossils. There's no fossils down here. Not even the right soil structure. I hate that kid. It's too big for me. A pile of dirt excavated by Dr. Von Jones. There's also some Milrith ore here. Calling International Rescue. How am I going to get out of this hole?
that doesn't work. Can you do anything with this? I can do anything you want with such fine metal. Good, because I need an axe head made for me. No problem, as long as I can keep what's left over. Sure. Why didn't I listen to my mother? I knew it was too good to... I don't believe it. Lady Luck must be shining on me today. I'm off to try it out. Watch out, trees. Here I come. I like mahogany. As a matter of fact, I have. Wigworm, attack! <laughs> that was wonderful. Cozy in this hat, isn't it? I wouldn't know. 
Mind if we hang around here for a while? Damn sight better than a bloody stump. No problem. If you need us for anything, just shout, okay? Fine. I think I'll catch 40 winks. See ya. Weird. Apothecary's Taverna, your number one for love potions, cure-alls, and tri- Oh, it's you. Just thought I'd pop in. 
I expect you are looking for some free potions since you rescued me. That would be nice, yes. Okay, I do have an exceedingly good potion I'm prepared to give you. However, it's a collector's item and you must only use it as a last resort. Okay, hand it over. There is another condition, though. How did I know this was coming? If you want his fine potion, then you'll have to get me something. I need a special herb to help control my froggy condition. It's called Frog's Bane. My sources inform me that it can only be found on a place called Skull Island. If you find it, then you can have the potion. Do we have a d Ribbit. Fetch, Froggy. Rip. Uh, thank you. I guess you want that potion now. Here you are, though I'm loath to part with it. That's okay. I was loath to part with the frog's bane. I see. Ah, the 
piffling 30 gold pieces. Where is it then? So the prevailing wind is normal, yes? There you are. 30 gold pieces in unmarked coins. Can I be a wizard now? Well, I suppose so. Um, by the power invested in me, I pronounce you a wizard. That's it? Uh, yes. No ceremonies? Uh, no. No adoring crowds, confetti, wild orgies, banners and ice cream? Not usually, no. Right then. You do get a young wizard starter pack, though. A starter pack? Yes, it's got all kinds of goodies in it. You get a complimentary staff, a WizKid Club member badge, a WizKid Quill, WizKid Scroll Notepaper, the WizKid Multi-Ingredient Starter Kit, a membership card, your first issue of WizKid Magazine published quarterly, and many other wonderful freebies. Here you are, all held in this free WizKid wallet. Thanks, I think. Happy now? Just answer me a few questions. Where's the door? Over there by the door. Where did you say we were? We're in a quaint rural village, of course. Powerful user of mystic magic. <laughs> you shall not pass. We'll see about that. You shall not pass. What are you staring at, mate? You can talk? Give the kid a cigar. That's amazing. No, it's just magic. Speaking of which, I'm a powerful sorcerer. Well, you must know a lot about magic then. Do you know any magic? Well... I've picked up the odd word or two as I went along. Can't quite remember what they do, though. What are they? It'll cost you, I'm afraid. I seem to spend forever running errands for people. Everyone's good at something. What do you want? See this pink splodge? Yeah? It's paint. Yeah? It means that bloody woodcutter will be coming along later to chop me down. Oh, that's...
That's terrible. If you can remove the paint, then I'll tell you some magic words. Okay, sounds fair to me. You can probably get some white spirit at the shop in the village. Righty-ho. Hurry up, though. I'm on it. This magical map is used as... The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I say it goes here. And I say it goes here. Okay, but I need to go to the toilet. No way. You'll have to restrain yourself. Look! This is my body as much as it is yours. No, it isn't. I was here first. You just sprouted out of my shoulder. Who shouldn't have been mucking about with glowing rocks then? Shut up. I need the toilet. Ask nicely. Can we go to the toilet? Please. No. I'll remember this, you know. Was it you that put the organic soup here? It goes better with all the other soups. But it's organic, so it goes with the other organic stuff. I would like to buy this. That will be one gold piece. OK, here you are. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. Your problems are solved. I'm very grateful. So, how about those magic words? Okay. I don't know what they do, so be careful. What are they? Alakazam. Hocus Pocus. Abracadabra. And sausages. Sausages? Yep. Very powerful magic word is that. I really do think I've been taken for a ride here. At least I'm not going to be chopped down anymore. Does anyone have any pink spray paint? I have a bad feeling about this. from a witch? I'm a wizard. I steal from who I want. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. You want to fight, do you? You want a wizard's duel. Okay. I'm game. Right. I'll make the rules. First, no vegetable or mineral. Only animal. Second, no dragon. Third, no cheating. 
asking any questions? What do I have to do exactly? Don't you know any magic words? Of course I do. You'll soon get the hang of it then. Ready? Okay. Here goes nothing. Shazam! <laughs> That's one nil to you. Wow. Focus, focus. That makes one one. Sausages. That's two one to me. It's two two. Wow. Abracadabra. That's three two to me. I win, I win. That's one up for the witches. Now, what about you, huh? I'll just leave quietly if that's okay with you. And don't come back. Think yourself lucky I already ate. I could have taken her. Just thought I'd let her off this once. Okay, wrinkled old hag. I'm back. You want a rematch, huh? Sure do. You were lucky last time. That's good. I was having second thoughts about letting you go anyway. Okay. Focus, focus. That's one nil to you. Wow. That makes one one. Abracadabra. That's two one to me. Abracadabra. That's three one to me. I win. What up for the witchy now? I'll just leave quietly if that's okay with you. And don't come back. Think yourself lucky I already ate. I could have taken her. Just thought I'd let... Okay, wrinkled old hag. I'm back. You want to rematch, huh? Sure do. You were lucky last time. That's good. I was having second thoughts about letting you go anyway. <laughs> Ready? Actually, I'm having second thoughts about the whole thing. Too late now! <laughs> That's one nil to you. Wow. Focus, focus. A draw. Shazam. That makes one, one. Shazam. A draw. Sausages. A draw. Two one to me. 
Hocus Pocus. That makes it two two. Wow. Shazam. That's three two to you. Wow. Well done. Does that mean I win? Sarta. Oh, what do you know? I won. I guess I'll just take my prize and clear off then. Now who's won, huh? Uh, no dragons? Did I say no dragons? Now you come to mention it, I don't believe you did. Well, I will give you a chance to defend yourself. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. Abracadabra! A mouse? How can you hope to defeat me with a mouse? I'm not an enemy! This must be my lucky day. Except that now I've got a terrible craving for cheese. It's a goblin key made from two teeth and a pencil. Typical, just when I thought I was getting somewhere. <coughs> A bit too much throttle there. There's a little crack in the door down here. Hello, boy. How did you get in here? <coughs> really? <coughs> oh, I see. Hey, put me down, you mangy mutt. Ugh. What's that smell? Remind me to change your dog food when we get home. You've got a killer hairball here, boy. I'll get it for you. That was disgusting. There's a matchstick in here. I'll just pick it up.
I think I'm in some sort of gigantic garden. I don't see the point. That doesn't work. I can't reach it from here. I'll leave it here. It's too big to pick up. I can't reach them from here. I've pulped them into oil. I've run aground. There's not enough water to cross the puddle. That doesn't work. Oh, poo. Ah! Hey, I'm alive. But where the hell am I? Hey, I'm inside the frog. Yuck. There's a little tadpole swimming in it. Would you excuse me, please? I need to get past. When I get back to my normal size, your history. Too froggy.
It's a small tadpole swimming around. Out of the way or the tadpole gets it. I guess I showed him. Bye-bye, little friend. thing is gone. I'm not going near that thing without some sort of plan.
I can see my reflection in it. Pretty it ain't. What's the matter? Never seen a talking mirror before? <laughs> oh, get a grip, will you? So you're a magical talking mirror then? I'm actually a magical scrying mirror. I can see out of any reflective surface anywhere in the world. Just name the place and you can hear and see it as if you were there. You're some kind of spying device? I prefer the term surveillance. Sordid uses me to assist him in hatching evil plots. He's a sod, though. Do you know how long it's been since I last had a good polish? He treats me like some sort of slave. I've got feelings, you know. What do you know, Max? An intruder. Intruder, yeah. I bet, like, he's come to deal with sordid. Sordid, yeah. Shall we, like, go and tell him? Tell him, yeah. We couldn't just sit there while the boss gets, you know, done over. Done over, yeah. Then again, we could just do our jobs and, you know, just eat the intruder, like, where he stands. Eat him. Yeah. Or we could just carry on with a game, just like ignore the intruder. Ignore. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, hello. Um, does like. Two orc eyes and a goblin tooth beat a triple dragon. I um uh, thought not. I lose again, Max. Again? Yeah. What are you? What do we look like? Your shake, Max. My mummy says I mustn't talk to strangers. <laughs> yeah, mine used to say that too. That doesn't work. Do you require my services now? There's nothing I want from a talking mirror. Do you require my services now? What's it like being a mirror? What's the point? It's only just up the stairs. I want to spy on Gerald and Max. I can't imagine they'd be worth spying on, but okay, here goes. Why are you, like, so nervous in front of strangers, Belch Grabbit? Wouldn't you be with a name like Belch Grabbit? It's not much better than Snogfundle, really. Suppose not. B 
belt, grab it and snog fondle. I've seen enough. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mirror. What are you? What do we look like? Your shape, Max. Tact prevents me from passing comment. What we are is uh, angry, uh, annoyed, bothered, cross, displeased, exasperated, flustered, harassed, irritable, nettled, out of humour, peeved, peaked, put out, riled, ruffled, and vexed. Uh, ain't we, Max? Irritated. Yeah. Why are you irritated? I hear you ask. Why are you irritated? It doesn't matter. I can tell you're not interested in, you know, our problems. Is he, Max? Not interested. <laughs> yeah. Dying his smokes. I'm afraid not. It's all right. We've got loads, ain't we? Loads. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah? Why do you stay here if you're dissatisfied? We don't have any, like, choice. Sordid won't let us go. What's with this sordid guy anyway? He wants to, you know, rule the universe, doesn't he? Rule? Yeah. I blame the parents. Parents? Yeah. Never fear. I, Simon, intend to stop him. I hear the universe breathing a sigh of relief already. Relief? <laughs> yeah. Listen, kid. Those statues you've seen ain't just novel at stands. They're what's left of all the great heroes that tried to, you know, stop him. He got the idea from a kiddie's book. Okay, I'm scared. Which way is out? The only way out is through the light. Teleporter. Teleporter. Yeah. But I'm blowed if I'm telling you how to use it. Why won't you tell me? We're demons. We don't work for the good of the people, you know. People. Yeah. What do you want? All we want, like, is a return to the pit whence we came of. You know. Pit. Yeah. All you have to do, like, is find a wizard powerful enough. Look no further. I, Simon the Sorcerer, will save you. Pardon my lack of confidence, oh mighty one. But, like, you're hardly a wizard at all. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And what makes you think I'm not a wizard, eh? I've met a few wizards in my time, like, and they're all fat, chemical-stained, befuddled old fools. Fools. Yeah. Ha! Foolish creatures. I'm travelling in disguise. I can't be bothered to, like, argue. If you are a wizard, then send us back to the pit, and in return, we'll tell you how to use the telephone. Teleport? Yeah. Right then, I'll just go and get prepared. I guess I'd better, like, pack my bags then. Bags? Yeah. It's sorted spellbook. It looks just like mine. There's a spell here to return demons to hell. You need a double square with eight candles, a mouse and a human skull. You also need to know the demons' true names. Got it sorted, then. I'll just draw a quick magic square on the floor. Here, yeah, you can borrow my chalk. Okay, we're all set. Let's rock. I'm impressed. Very impressed. This might just work. Work. Yeah. Hey, kiddo. 
Now I'll tell you how to operate the light. Teleport. Just push the red button marked self-destruct and tell the machine where you want to go. It's a one-way trip though. You can't like get back without the password. Password. Yeah. And we don't like know it. Take it away, Sonny. Okay, here goes. Zabag, Zinza, Zenog, Yamak, Zog. Onya. Looks like we're stuck. Wow, that really tingled. I hope it worked okay. It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. This is Sparky the Talking Teleport at your service. It would be my pleasure to whisk you safely and conveniently to the destination of your choice. Fiery Pits of Rondor, please. Your selected destination is the Fiery Pits of Rondor. Please fasten seat belts and extinguish smoking materials. I had no idea this place was a tourist attraction. Three years ago it wasn't. That's King Gerald for you. Have some brochures. Visit the fiery pits of Rondor. An ideal family day out. See the fires of hell in full effect. And remember, free sunblock for everyone. Sounds really neat. So, why is there no one here? That's just it, isn't it? The place is at least 150 miles from the nearest village. And the only way to get here is on foot, or by magic. We've only had two visitors in the last three years. And one was a wizard. Sordid. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The other was this little green fellow. Now, are you going to pay up or not? No. Then you aren't coming in. It looks absolutely awful to me anyway. elastic band around them. I'm out of here.
I catch the person that set off the sprinkler system, I'll roast them alive. Now, I've got to find a way to relight this damn thing. Just when I was about to finish my new wand as well. Quite ironic, wouldn't you say? Hey, slime bucket. Pasta la pizza, baby. No! That'll teach you to mess with Simon the Sorcerer. The only problem now is how to destroy the wand and save Calypso. Sorted and all his magic couldn't get this thing working? You expect me to be able to do it with a book of matches? I've already turned to the stone. How can I? I've turned him to stone. Here goes. Now all the statues should return to normal. I'll be made a hero for sure. Not only have I rid the world of Sordid, but I've saved all the good guys as well. At least I'm out of danger now. I've just had a thought. Uh-oh. Well, 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 little wizard. You've made me really angry now. I didn't mean to. I'm not interested in your pathetic whinging, little wizard. This time, I intend to make sure you die properly and with great suffering. I guess it's goodbye then. You almost finished the game as well. Say your prayers, little wizard. Hello, Sordid speaking. Oh. Hang on a minute. It's some life insurance people. They want to speak to you. Hello. Is that Simon the Sorcerer? Speaking. This is Calypso here. You did a great job with the one. We've all turned back to normal. Okay. See you in a bit. Bye. What did I want? I think it was a wrong number. Okay then. Get ready for pain such as you never imagined. Hang on a minute. What is it now? Why can't you just shut up and die? Can I have a last request? Uh, let me think about it for a moment. Uh, no. Ah, 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 ah. Ho, 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 ho. It's time for you to die. Ah, that'll teach that little squirt to mess with me. Well, what do you know? Hundreds of razor-sharp spikes, and I miss everyone. I wonder what happened to the bridge. Nice try, loser. You'll have to do better than that to beat me. This time, I'll make sure you die.
turned out the lights? Congratulations! Well done! You finished Simon the Sorcerer! Well, Simon, what does it feel like to be a hero? What's this guy on? Would you like to say something to your fans? Don't miss next year's sequel! Don't hold your breath. I'm not going through all that again. Phew, what an awful dream. I guess I must have dropped off. <laughs> Looks like I've no say about the sequel.